I'm going to show you how McDonald's builds a, a Big Mac sandwich. It's one of the most famous burgers in the world. You know it by name, even if you've never had one. 17 Big Macs are sold every second of the day. The Golden Arches flagship sandwich was first served in 1967 and created by Jim Delegati, but only in one store before headquarters decided to serve it nationwide in the US in 1968. Luckily they did choose the Big Mac because headquarters originally wanted to go for the Hula Burger, a cheese top pineapple on a bun. Ooh. The Big Mac is now sold in over 100 countries, all the same size, with all the same ingredients we all know from that famous jingle. To all it cost just 45 cents and was an instant hit. The price, however, changes from country to country, and even economists use the price to gauge the cost of living in other countries. And then there's those ads that everyone over the age of 30 would fondly remember on TV. And am I the only one that remembers the Big Mac mascot in the playground at McDonald's? Ah, uh, Officer Big Mac, those were simpler times. In recent years, the Big Mac's popularity has faded. In fact, only one in five millennials have actually tried a Big Mac. And I don't care what anyone says, the Big Mac over the years has gotten way smaller. Or maybe I've just gotten way bigger. I don't know. What do you think? In any case, the Big Mac changed the landscape for burgers to come forever. You guys voted and this week we are doing the legendary Big Mac! Surely I'll win this one. A. Rob can't replicate the famous Big Mac sauce and B. You can't buy the same size burger buns. <laughs> Freshly made Big Mac, please. No. Just by itself, thanks. Anything else? No, that's all, thanks. Yeah, no! No! Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Let's look at this iconic burger. Hey. Look at this burger. <laughs> Not a whole lot of sauce on that. Um, that might be a little bit of trouble here. So here's how you make a Big Mac at home. Into a bowl, add two tablespoons of mayonnaise, half a teaspoon of pickle relish, one teaspoon of yellow mustard, one teaspoon of white vinegar, and a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, paprika, and onion powder. Now grab 500 grams or one pound of ground beef that has an 80-20 split of beef and fat. In other words, the cheap stuff. Roll and shape your patties to the size a little bit bigger than the burger bun. Place them into a dry hot pan for two minutes each side. Season with salt and white pepper. Now prep your buns. Cut the top piece in half. You'll need the bottom to hold everything up. Now get those buns nice and toasty. To assemble we have our crown, club and heel. Spread the special sauce over the heel and club and then top it with onions, shredded lettuce, cheddar cheese, pickles and the beef patties. Top with the crown and get stuck into that bad boy. Howdy! Hi! How are you going? Good. How's it going? Good. You ready for some burgers? I sure am. On 99 goals. Megan. Megan joins the 100 club and people power has spoken. Out they come by their thousands. Megan is the only Perth angel. In 150 years of AFL to reach the magical 100. Big Mac connoisseur. So, mates, thanks for coming and doing this with us today. You're welcome. I do have to tell everyone, you are my sister. Unfortunately. Nah, yes, <laughs> of course. Yes, you are my sister. Meg, you've got two Big Macs in front of you. Can you pop your blindfold on, please? You can mm. get it over that thing of yours. Don't diss the beanie. So you've got a Big Mac to the left of you, you've got a Big Mac to the right of you. Can you first go with your right? Oh, yeah. Got a load of that. Describe it. What do you want me to say? It's a Big Mac. It's God's gift. It's nice. Can I have another bite? Hmm. Yeah. 
There we go. So there wasn't enough sauce on it? I didn't say that. Just needed to find it. It's a little bit um, dry. All right, there's one to your left of you. Well, this one's huge. Oh my god. Has everyone got a napkin? Get the weight of that. Oh god, yeah. That's alright. Is there sauce on my face? No. <laughs> yep. That was good. I like that. <laughs> Yep, it would be nice if you could tell me if I have sauce in my face. I'm would you like me to do it for you? No, no, yeah. I don't trust you. You might just smudge it all over my face. That was lovely. So what did you like about the one on the right? Uh, flavour. It was just like boom. And the one on the left? Lacking. So you had to choose today, Imi. Imi. <laughs> you call, you call Imogen Megan. You call Megan Imi. Yeah, what is With right? this family and Dad calls me Jess. It's like, for God's sake. Every time. So Megan, which is today's winner? Oh, my left, for sure. This one. Whoa! Thank you. What happened to the sisterhood? Can I take this off? Of course. Yes. Oh hell yeah! Look at the size of that. That's yeah. a burger. I was gonna say that's how they used to be. That's how they used to be. What's this? <laughs> yeah, no, nah, this one top. Top notch. And you know what? In all honesty, I was coming here thinking, you know what? I probably won't pick Rob's burger. Only because I seriously thought nothing could beat a Big Mac itself. But credit to ya. Credit to ya. Nailed it. Sorry, sis. Better luck next time. McDonald's, McDonald's, Kentucky Fried Chicken and Pizza Hut. I'm starting to lose count, though. I thought I could win this one. Why? Did you see that thing? The Big Mac sauce. You, your recreation, it just it wasn't the Big Mac sauce. It you was. can't recreate that stuff. That, I just did and I won. You can huff and puff until the Ronald McDonald blows down. I don't want to play this game anymore. <laughs>